All right, yo, what's going on, everyone? You guys got the Bar Kage of the Hidden Games Village here today for a very special video. This time, I'm going to be showcasing the most underrated and unknown, yet one of the most effective drills for training planche and Maltese. <clears throat> so this exercise is called the forearm planche, and then there's a Maltese version as well called the forearm Maltese. And Basically, what this exercise is, it is essentially the best way to train your core for the planche. So, <clears throat> a lot of planche progressions, such as the planche lean, uh, tuck planche push-ups, whatever progressions like tuck planche, all that stuff, those are all great. But the issue with those is they don't necessarily target your core as much as they should. So, you're building up all this upper body strength for planche, yet you're lacking a lot of the core training, and that is exactly what this exercise is for. So uh, there's a couple different ways to train this. You can do static holds or sort of presses, and it essentially is like a reverse dragonfly. Uh, and we all know that the dragonfly is a great way to build up core strength for the front lever. So this reverse version of that is a great way to build up core strength for the planche and the Maltese. Now. Another thing I would like to share with this is this is very suitable for all levels. If you are someone maybe like me, you're pretty advanced in planche and you're looking for just easy, maybe accessory exercise that you can do to help improve it, this is a great one right here. Uh, and also, if you are someone who is on straddle planche and you are having a very hard time getting to the full planche, this is going to be a very, very helpful exercise. And also, just maybe if you're more at the beginner intermediate level, you can try this one out as well. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, work on that core strength. And I really do believe that if you are consistent with this and you train this one alongside stuff like planche leans, you're going to be able to get full planche relatively quickly. So without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate <clears throat> before on planche and then the forearm Maltese, and then I'm gonna show you the presses and give you guys some extra tips on this. So <clears throat> you're gonna want P-bars. You can use uh, boxes or something as well. Anything where you can just get your forearms, well, I guess your entire upper extremity, so your arms and forearms. Uh, you're just gonna rest them <clears throat> on the P-bars like so, and you're just going to rise up into a planche. And so as you can see, I'm pretty much in a planche here, just doing it without my upper body, okay? <clears throat> so that is the forearm planche. And now, of course, the forearm Maltese, you wanna set the bars slightly wider, like you're doing actual Maltese. Now, I actually did some Maltese work right before filming this video, so I might not even be able to do the forearm Maltese here, but uh, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. All right, here we go. So, here we go, forearm mal pseudo Maltese. <clears throat> All right, there we go, yeah. All right, so as you can see, pretty much in that Maltese here. So <clears throat> those are the, um, just the static holds. Great way to get a feel for uh, spatial awareness in planche as well. A lot of you guys have asked me about that. Okay, now, time for the presses, okay? Now the presses are pretty much what is the reverse dragonfly. So uh, yeah, we're gonna demo the presses here. Probably not gonna do the Maltese version, just gonna show the forearm planche press. Okay, I hope I can actually go all the way up because sometimes this is kind of scary. So you're going to go back into that forearm planche. <clears throat> you're just going to press up like you're doing a planche press and then come down like this, just like that. <clears throat> okay, so I would do those for reps and stuff. You can really play around with it. Like I'll do <clears throat> after planche and Maltese work, I'll maybe do sets of four of these. I'll just do one press where I go up and then I just hold the bottom after the eccentric. Sometimes I'll do reps on the presses. You can really have fun with it. Just see what kind of works for you. And okay, now we're gonna move on to a couple other things. Uh, so now let's say you can't hold the full version of this. <clears throat> well, no problem. Uh, you can just do the straddle forearm planche, just like that. Forearm straddle Maltese. <clears throat> Just like that. And the last thing I do before I end the video, I'm gonna show you guys 
how you can make this exercise more challenging, okay? So <clears throat> let's say, for example, you want to make the forearm planche just slightly harder. You're going to come forward so you don't have your entire upper extremity balancing on the bars. You want, you'll, leave, you'll have some of it out here. So I'll, I'll try to do it. Let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, just like this. And this is a little harder. And then the same thing does apply with the forearm Maltese. You just want to go, uh, yeah, with your arms a little off. And uh, yeah, this is gonna, this is pretty close to a regular Maltese. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, I can barely do that. So anyway, guys, uh, that is the exercise, the forearm Maltese and the forearm planche. Very, very good exercise for building up core strength for the planche. I highly recommend that everybody watching this video adds this to their routine. And I promise you will see huge differences in your planche. Uh, with that, um, that's pretty much all I have. Please uh, hit me with a nice subscribe and a jutsu if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.